In this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in GE Advanced 2018. So here, x is given as a sum of a uh, uh, series of NCR, NC2 form, right? So 10C1, 10C2 whole square on all that stuff. And some uh, index variable 2, 3, 10 are multiplied. Now, we need to find the value of x, right? That's our job. Let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. So first we consider the given expression of x or the given sum of the series. Okay, that's it. Now we notice that for this particular problem, for this particular problem, we can easily rewrite that in the summation notation because uh, always, right, uh, finding this kind of problem using the summation notation is much easier. So see that, right, the index variable, the in, in the index variable for this particular uh, summation, right, we can, we need to identify the general term, right, because otherwise, right, we cannot write the, uh, in, uh, the expression in a summation notation. So now uh, to find the general term, right, each and every term need to be observed carefully. So here we notice, okay, so see that. Here, uh, our term is 10 C1. So this is the first term. For the second term, right, it is 10 C2, right, and 2 is multiplied. So that 2 will be multiplied. And similarly, 10 C3, 3 multiplied. So therefore, the ith term, right, or the general term, right, I just say ith term, right, or, or uh, rth term will be r multiplied by 10 CR whole square, okay? And we have a summation. R goes from one to, uh, one to ten. Okay, that's the summation. Okay, so this the general form of this summation. So therefore, we can rewrite x is equal to summation r equal to one to ten r multiplied by ten c r whole square. Now we need to find out this summation. So here we use one trick. So what's the trick? So first we rewrite that as a form of ten c r into ten c r. Right. So that's it, which is very obvious. Let's go ahead. Now, we consider the 10 CR separately, right? So, what is the value of 10 CR? That is the, using the definition, we can say it is factorial 10 divided by factorial R into 10 minus R, okay? Cool. Now, we just uh, try to rewrite it, right, in a uh, spatial form. So, we uh, write factorial 10 in the numerator as 10 into factorial 9, which is very straightforward. And this factorial r will be written as r into r minus 1 factorial. Okay, cool. So uh, in the next step, right, this 10 by r will be we taken out and we just write the remaining part. Now we need to observe that. Can we rewrite this in a form of a NCR form? Okay, let's go ahead. So that we can easily written as, as factorial 9 divided by r minus 1 and 10 minus r can be written as, as n 9 minus r minus 1. Okay. So therefore, it will be equivalent to 10 by r 9 c r minus 1. Now, why we take that uh, uh, in this particular form? That, why? Because so that this r can be cancelled out. Okay. So our calculation may, must be easier. Okay. That's it. So therefore, we'll proceed now. So if we use that, we get that equation as r multiplied by 10 cr into 10 by r and all that. So rr get cancelled, 10 will be come out from the summation and at the end, we get it as x is equal to 10 cr multiplied by 9 cr minus 1. So now we need to find the summation of this one. Uh, the, we concentrate on this expression. Now let's go ahead. So we know that, right, that NCR is equal to N into NC and minus R. So therefore, if we take in this case, N is equivalent to 9 and R is equivalent to R minus 1, right? So therefore, 9C R minus 1 will be equivalent to 9C. What is N here? 9 and R is R minus 1, right? So therefore, we can easily write it as 9C 10 minus R. So therefore, we can go ahead and rewrite it as 9C 10 minus R. So therefore, our X will be reduced to 10CR multiplied by 9C 10 minus R. Now, why we wrote it? Okay, because that is the important concept here. So here, we know that, right, the coefficient of X to the power R in the expansion of 1 plus X whole to the power N is NCR. So therefore, this 10 CR will be the coefficient of x to the power r, okay, in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 
10. And 9c in minus 10 minus r will be the coefficient of x to the power 10 minus r in the expression 1 plus x whole to the power 9. So this is the only concept of you need to use using that binomial thing. So let's go ahead. So he find that, right, that 10cr is the coefficient of x to the power r in 1 plus x whole to the power 10 and 9c 10 minus r is the coefficient of x to the power 10 minus r. But here, these are multiplied. So therefore, we need to multiply these two uh, expansion. So therefore, we can say that that coefficient of x to the power 10, okay, will be uh, the uh, 1 plus x whole to the power 90, right? So this expansion in the summation form is actually equivalent to the coefficient of x to the power 10 in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 19, okay? Now, what is the coefficient of x to the power 10 in the expansion of 1 plus x 19? So using this uh, uh, relation, it will be 19 c 10. So therefore, we obtain that, that, uh, the summation is 19 to 10 and hence we find out x is equal to 10 into 19 to 10. So that's it. Now our job is to obtain that 19 to 10 separately. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and compute that particular uh, 19 c 10 value. 19 c 10 we use the basic definition so therefore it will be factorial 19 divided by factorial 10 and factorial 9 so now we just write down the uh, factorial 19 and uh, factorial 9 separately okay that's it let's go ahead so now we can see that few terms can be cancelled out so first factorial 10 will be cancelled from the denominator and numerator 9 and 18 gives me the 2 8 and 16 give me the 2 7 and 14 cancelled out and gives me the 2. Now the next step, 6 and 2, right, will be cancelled out and gives me the 12. So this term is cancelled. Then 3 and 5 cancel the 15 term. And 2, 2 uh, is cancelled by 4. So therefore, the given expression is 19 into 2 into 17, 13 into 11. Now see that we need to find out 1 by 1, 4, 3, 0, right? So here we notice that 13 into 11 is 143. So therefore, it will be 19 into 2 into 17 into 143. So now if we use that, right, we can easily find out that it will be, uh, uh, it will be equal to 10 times, right, uh, uh, 19 into 2 into 17 into 1430. So hence we can easily obtain, we can easily obtain, right, that 1 by x, uh, uh, x by 1430, sorry. So that will give us 646. So therefore for this problem 646 is the correct answer. So only that calculation is little time only because we are not uh, have the option to use the calculator. Otherwise, right, the problem is very easy and see that it's a problem in an advanced level problem. Okay, that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.